good Monday morning to you. I had a pretty good weekend. Um, we uh, I had a bumping noise up under my truck, and uh, man, I've been trying for weeks to get get rid of it. Man, just aggravate. Uh, I changed the uh, rear king pin, not king pin. I'm sorry, spring bushings and uh, pins about three weeks ago, and uh, put new hood bushings um, and rollers there, new shocks, new steer tires, which I knew it wasn't the tires, but uh, uh, just been trying to get, get rid of it, so uh, I had the wife run down to um, Peterbilt store in Charlotte, and uh, I had her pick up cab bushings, rear engine mount bushings, and front spring bushings and pins. Cause I was determined to figure out what the hell it was, um, but uh, we changed the cab bushings first, and that took care of it. So, um, just FYI for anybody that may have a, a thumping or a bumping up under the cab that you can't um, uh, seem to diagnose the problem, I always start with them cab bushings first. Uh, but we uh, swapped them out for with some aftermarket neoprene. So, uh, yeah. I about fell asleep on the way to my first delivery this morning. It was so quiet. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we uh, we are up here in Youngsville. This load we picked up out of Georgia Friday. And we're up here in Youngsville uh, delivering these slabs. So I um, had to wait about 30 minutes while they were unloading another truck. And uh, I pulled in uh, to get unloaded. And apparently the guys that loaded me in Georgia didn't put... Um, they can put straps around eight slabs of this uh, quartz um, countertop material uh, and lift off, but they didn't put a two before separating the first seven from the second eight on each side. And um, I'm sorry, uh, there's 30, there's 15 on each side. Yeah. Um, so they're going to have to take them one by one off the truck till they can get to that last eight slabs uh and then of course uh when i pulled in of course i do a little inspection on my truck <clears throat> i had a damn recap come off <laughs> it didn't blow out just the cap come off the tire so uh i gotta be in greensboro uh between 2 p.m and 10 p.m to pick up some uh skidded coils going to georgia um so uh, I got to stop off at the Snyder Fleet Solutions and uh, get that taken care of before I can go pick up my next one and head south. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. We'll see you later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the squirrel got pulled over. Why? Because I'm on a non-truck route later. All right, so we sitting here at truck stop down here in Florence uh, so uh, recap you know we dropped off them uh, slabs this morning and uh, had that cap come off so uh, I got on old Google web and uh, found a tire store like less than two miles down the road and uh, I decided that recaps suck it's an inexpensive way to go but it can be costly so um, I rode on down there and I had them put two new tires on the rear axle on the driver's side $598 <laughs> so anyway there's only three tires on my trailer that have not been touched uh, I got three recaps three that haven't been touched that are recaps and then two new ones so about every week or every other week I'm going to put two new tires on there until I have all virgin rubber on the trailer I'm done with recaps so but anyway so we got that done and uh, we run on down to Greensboro we picked up uh, some skidded coils tarped them I uh, got them on the trailer, and um, I had some time to uh, 
I had like five hours of drive time. But, um, so I, I run down here to Florence, got some fuel, and I, I had like two hours, two and a half hours left on my drive line. And I was going to run on down as far as I could, but, man, they had so many spots here. I was like, shit, whether I drive on down or I stay here now and drive four hours in the morning, I'm still going to get to my stop at the same time. So, anyway, so I went ahead and stopped here and uh, fueled up. And um, we just hanging out, but we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get these uh, coils delivered in the morning, and got a load of uh, wife started got a load of uh, farm equipment, implements and stuff like that that's going up to uh, Robbins. Uh, is it Robbins or Robbinsville, North Carolina? <clears throat> Western North Carolina up here in the mountains don't weigh but like 10,000 pounds. So it ought to be easy to load, strap and go, no tarp. So we'll see what happens on that. I'll get some pictures of that. But uh, other than that, guys, I'm just going to lay back here and chill, relax, chillax for a little bit. And uh, we're going to get up about 4.30 in the morning, roll out about 5.30, head on down there, drop off about 9.30. And uh, do it all over again. It's only Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Got four more days to make some money. All right, later. All right, so uh, welcome back. Um, so where we left off was I was uh, chillaxing back there at the truck stop. All right, so we left out this morning about 5.30. We're supposed to be at our first stop at 9.30. Well, about an hour before we got to our stop, boom, had a blowout. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, recap suck. So, uh, I headed into the little town of Claxton. I had to go through <coughs> to get to uh, Glenville to drop the load I'm currently waiting to unload. Um, and, um, yeah. Spent uh, 750 bucks on uh, two tires for the passenger side of the trailer on the rear axle. So now I got four virgins and four recaps, and three of those recaps are new. So we'll see how far we can get uh, with those. So, man, I'll tell you, it's just been a time. So, um, as soon as I get this load off, I'll be, um, I'll have my maybe five hours of time left on my clock, man. I'm going to try to get up to as far as close to Robbinsville as I can get, get this load off in the morning. So, all right, stay tuned. Later. All right. So, we were going to try to get as close to Robbinsville, North Carolina as we could. So, after I got the coils off, <clears throat> Went back over to Claxton, because that's where my pickup was. It was going to Robbinsville. And, uh, yeah, they're not farm implements. That's for damn sure. These are damn, like, dozer plows or something. Pitcher. Um, and they don't weigh 10,000 pounds. They say it weighs 13 to 15. My load gauge in the tractor is sitting on, like, 35, so it's not heavy. Uh, so we got uh, we got up here to Thompson, Georgia, here off 20. Uh, I'm not a Loves fan, but uh, there was Loves here, <sighs> and there was parking. If there wouldn't have been parking, I'd have went to my cousin Alicia's house over in uh, Winder. Been a little bit out of route, but. I always got parking there for me and a nice hot shower. Sometimes she'll take me to get a steak. But uh, but anyway, so uh, we're gonna we getting ready to shut her down, and get some sleep. We're gonna get up about three thirty in the morning, roll out at four thirty, and uh, head up to uh, Robbinsville. It's about man, about fucking four hours drive up there. 
and there ain't shit within 150 miles of that damn place. So, I'm a deadhead back to Cleveland and pick up a load that's paying me 261 a mile, which is gonna suck with my deadhead, but I already told the man I would take it in McDonald, Georgia. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that picked up and uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll kill my 10 hours at the house and um, we'll leave out early Thursday morning and get that down there and hopefully we can get us a good run Thursday and something Friday. Uh, but man, this week has killed my pocketbook with tires. <laughs> I ain't fucking kidding. So, uh, keeping my fingers crossed that I don't have no damn issues tomorrow because I said every couple weeks I was going to put new tires on there. It seems like it's every day. So, but anyway, uh, I do want to give a shout out. I'll drop a couple, uh, uh, business cards in here uh, the uh, tire shop up in uh, Lewisburg North Carolina up there close to Youngsville the address I dropped off at was Youngsville and I went probably two miles down the road but uh, it's uh, Ronnie White's tire and towing uh, super nice folks man they hooked me up with that first set I put on the trailer and uh, when I had a little blowout um, about 45 minutes before that drop down there in uh, Georgia. Uh, I ran a, my wife found this uh, quality tire and uh, man, they got me in. It's, it was pretty quick. I mean, they were finishing up a, a, a truck, but they got me in pretty quick. Uh, throw me two tires on there uh, so I can get back on the road, uh, but I'll drop a business card on that one too. Uh, it's in Claxton, Georgia. So, if y'all are out that way, that you know, whether you're in North Carolina up around Youngsville or Lewisburg, or you're down around Claxton, Glenville area, or whatever, um, y'all hit these guys up, man. They'll do you a good deal on some tires. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, we'll get tomorrow morning started and um, see where it goes later. It's Thursday, and uh, we got up this morning, left out about 2.30, and run down to McDonald, Georgia, to offload the, uh, the lumber, and we were supposed to uh, pick up about 40 miles from there and run back up to Linwood, North Carolina. Uh, as soon as I offloaded in, McDonald, Georgia, I uh, got a phone call and that load had been canceled. <clears throat> so I spent uh, probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, on load boards calling on loads that have already been booked or been canceled. Uh, I found a load uh, over here uh, northwest of uh, Atlanta. 
picking up going back to uh, Wake Forest, North Carolina. Now I booked this load at 12 o'clock and knowing that the appointment time was at four, so I knew I was gonna be waiting. So I got here around one o'clock and uh, it's four o'clock and I just found out that it's probably gonna be five o'clock or 5.30 before they load me because they got two truckloads of coals that they got to get offloaded that just showed up and there's one around back right now. So we're going to end up doing our 10 hour here and around midnight, since it's a seven hour drive to Wake Forest, we're going to roll out. So, but that's what sucks about flatbed. Wait, canceled loads. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll talk to you later it is now 11 05 p.m <clears throat> so my 10 hours is up we're getting ready to roll got a seven mile ride up to uh wake forest uh, GPS says we'll be there around 6, but I gotta stop and get fuel and stuff like that. So we can get this one dumped off <clears throat> and then jump up to uh, Oxford to pick up a load to preload to come back to Georgia for Monday. So, anyway, stay tuned! Alright, so we've made it up here to Blake Forest this morning. I uh, rolled in about 6.30 check in at the office and they said they uh they started unloading around seven and it's about five minutes to seven <clears throat> uh, they got to get their trucks out of here first um but yeah um stopped off got fuel in salisbury this morning on the way up um where i'm going uh, broker said make sure you full of fuel because they'll load you up to the max and if you come in there with a quarter tank of fuel in each tank and that's all you're gonna have to run off of <laughs> so, whatever. so i stopped off and topped off <coughs> but when i was in there it's a funny story i went in there couldn't get my car to work on the machine for some reason so uh, i went in there and i was like well just let me get 100 gallons you know um is that uh you hold my card hold my license what it's like, nah, I just have to go ahead and bring it up. And I was like, all right. I was like, well, let me get 100 gallons. She's like, how much is fuel? I was like, 294 a gallon. Terry, this gentleman wants to get 100 gallons of fuel. And it's 294 a gallon. How much is that going to be? And I just looked at her, I was like, $294. <laughs> like oh it's really early i was like yeah simple math just add the zeros but anyway so we got up here we're gonna be getting unloaded here shortly go up and get that load and get my ass home because i'm one tired driver but anyway we'll see you later